crude oil market rally is continuing. Guys, insane. Literally, WTI crude, the front month contract, uh, the June contract, is up nearly 80% in the last seven days, which is quite an astonishing rally, really, because remember, guys, it was just a couple of weeks ago, last month, this time last month, well, a little bit later in, in the month, that the, the price of the front month contract for WTI, the old May contract, went negative. So, and why did that happen? Well, demand was terrible, down one third, just gone because of the global co uh, coronavirus lockdowns. Number two, storage was just completely full. Um, so what's changed? What's changed? This is something that we have been talking about over the last couple of weeks, but this theme really, really seems to be picking up. Demand appears to be gently rebounding, okay? Um, not that demand is anywhere near the level it was before all these lockdowns came into force, but there's this consensus emerging in the market and amongst analysts that the, the worst hit to demand is now behind us because now what we're seeing is countries is uh, uh, gradually starting to ease their lockdowns. So in Europe, Spain, Italy, Germany, in the US, some of the various states easing their lockdowns. California, the biggest state, they're going to ease their lockdown on Friday. And what happens when you start easing lockdowns? Well, one of the first things people do, if they can, is get back in their cars and you know go places that they haven't been in a long time so one of the first things to recover when you start to ease these lockdowns is transportation and that is actually what we've seen in china so it really did not take long at all for traffic data to to completely rebound to uh pre to like the you know what it was before the lockdowns um, that doesn't mean the economy has rebounded to where it was before the lockdowns, but traffic does. And some people are actually think that that's to do with the fact that people like being in cars amid this pandemic because it's easier to maintain social distancing. People don't want to be on trains, people don't want to be on buses, sharing all that coronavirus infected potentially air. They'd rather be in a car on their own. So uh, yeah, we're likely to continue to see an improvement in the traffic data in Europe and in the US. We're already even seeing that in the UK, even though lockdowns haven't been eased, which has been concerning the government a little bit. But anyway, all of this lends to that same narrative. Demand is slowly coming back. And that is partly why we've been seeing crude, uh, crude prices rallying so, so hard in the last couple of days. Um, just a note of caution, guys. Um, demand has not rebounded enough to fully balance the market, okay? Supply has been coming down in recent weeks and demand has been coming up, but that doesn't mean the two have met in the middle yet. So storage going forward still gonna be an issue and we all know what can happen when traders start panicking about storage. We saw it last month, negative prices. So that is definitely something to keep on your radar. Do not think that crude oil is now, you know, a safe bet to the upside. We still don't know. We're going to see. We're going to be covering all these themes, of course, at Freak Network. That is pretty much it from me for now, and I will see you in the next one.